So, what are we doing today, Grace? Today we are going to make lemon cookies. And what do we want to make sure that we ask everybody to do? Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much. Okay, so we are going to start by mixing together the butter and the sugar. Can you take the butter and put it in our mixing bowl? Mm -hmm. I'm kind of scared. I'm scared? It's just butter, darling. You always end up dumping okay. up the butter. The other one? Yep, the other one too. We need two sticks of butter. <laughs> it's a little bit hard to get off. Okay, now we need a cup and a half of sugar. So that's going to be three of these half scoops. Okay. Ooh, that's not quite full. Let me help. There we go. Always ask the parent to make cookies with you so you don't accidentally need. If you need someone while you're baking cookies, just ask your mom and your dad, or your sister, or your brother. It's better to ask your mom or your dad or another grown up. Grown ups are always good for making cookies because if, if there's a knife involved, you want a grown up to be with you in case you cut yourself. Well, that's true. We're not using any knives today. What we have in here is three tablespoons of lemon zest. Do you want to tell them why we use lemon zest? Because it has more of the flavor. There's more flavor in the zest of the lemon than in the rest of the lemon itself. So add that in. A bit of lemon? Yep. Oh, use your finger to get all that little lemon bits out. Kind of scared. <laughs> it's just lemon. Oh, or, yeah, you scoop it out. There we go. Okay. So we're gonna put on the paddle attachment. Whisk that all together. Now I'm gonna crack the egg because of the way this is working. I don't wanna risk getting any shells in there. There we go. And that's gonna mix up. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit. And then we're gonna add the flour egg. That's gonna be our next step. Pull this up. Okay, now add in the flour. Add in it's the three flour. cups of flour. Okay. That's all the flour we're gonna need. Yep. And we need half a teaspoon of baking soda. I think I can do that. You can get it. Okay, now we wanna did you dig it in and then he kind of use the top of that. I know. I know. Oh, that's not quite enough. I know. There we go. Okay, put that in. And we need, oh, it's actually, we need two of those. Sorry, we need two of those. We need one whole teaspoon. That's a half teaspoon scoop. Perfect. Good job. And then we need one teaspoon of salt. So you hold the spoon and I'll pour it out. This is a or sorry, this is a quarter teaspoon of salt. Only a tiny, tiny bit. Now dump that in. Okay. All the salt and teaspoons. Now, when you turn this back on, do not turn it on very fast. You start very slow, otherwise you get flour everywhere. Would that okay. be fun? Actually, it kind of would be fun, but then you'd have to clean it up, and that wouldn't be fun. Ah. Like that. <laughs> So now we're gonna take this dough and put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to cool it down and then we're gonna roll it into little balls. And then we're gonna put it on a cookie rack. That's right. 11 minutes later. And I'm starting to make the queen. And I'm gonna the team. Cause if I can't have that, I will be the leader of the dog in the bed. Now there's a dough on the shoulder where the angels used to be. Let's call me a queen. Our next step, now that we have chilled our cookie dough, is going to be to roll it into balls, scoop it and roll it into balls, and then roll it in some sugar that we have in these bowls, and then put them on our silicone mat baking sheet. Ready for your first cookie ball? Here you go. And we roll, 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 roll. Just like meatballs, you're very good at meatballs. So this is gonna be as simple as cake. You just roll it around in the sugar. Boop! 
Rolly, rolly, rolly. Rolly, rolly, rolly. You need to put sugar so it will taste like a cookie. Well, it would probably taste like a cookie without the sugar, but the sugar will make it extra delicious. Yeah. Sugar always makes like things that are candy. <gasps> Yummy. Can I like my fingers? No. In your hand. So you are rolling out your last cookie. It looks like we have 31 cookies all together. Um, and we have preheated our oven to 350 degrees and they will go in the oven for 11 to 13 minutes until, or until they are slightly golden on the edges. Are done with our cookies. We're all done with our cookies. Are you ready to eat one and try it? Yep. Which one do you want to eat? Okay, eat this one. I think. Oh yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This is so good. It's soft and lemony. Mhm. Mm Can you tell everybody thank you for watching the video and bye bye. Thanks for watching our video. Bye, YouTube. If you have already subscribed and liked our channel, then you can watch all our videos if you would like.